Hey everyone, we're here at B. Patrick Cemetery in Combs, Arkansas, and we're just going to read a few graves for you. And we're going to start right here. Yeah, this is father and mother. Um, Morgan Patrick, December the 7th of 1847. And he died October the 22nd of 18, I mean 1918. And his wife, Violet Patrick, born August the 26th of 1847. And she died on November the 9th of 1918, which is only a couple of weeks past when her dad, her husband died. So that was... 1918 that was when the spanish flu so we don't know it's a possibility that that's what happened dying that close together oh yeah look at this this is really old fenced in we got one stone in it let's see if we can read it there's some lines it says hope on the top and down here it says, Ursley, J, wife of E.A. Sparks, April the 25th of 1834 to April the 30th of 1913. I think it's missing oh, the top that top piece or something, but you know the all the wires still there. That's when they built stuff. They built it to last. The ones that have fallen, but somebody has came along and stood them back up but not on top of the base. And so, let's see what the name is. Curtis, son of G.W. and S.J. Johnson, born December the 30th, 1902, and died December the 4th of 1918. So just, what, 16 years old? Not supposed to die when you're 16. And this is, is it, what is that? S. It looks Esther? Like S. I don't know. Looks it's S. It looks like Esther at the end, but an S in front. It's a son of. Don't know. Son of A. D. and B. C. Avery. Born June 13th of 1903 and died November the 8th of 1918. 15, 15 years old. In 1918, again, here we are. So, what was the date on this one? Was it? I can't remember. 1918. So, a 15 year old and a 16 year old, December 4th, and what was the date on that one? Were they close? To the same? November? November 8th. 8th and then this one died in December the 4th not even a month apart almost look their stones are, are uh, pretty much identical yeah probably made by the same company because both of them have come off the base but some, there's something happened here you know, for this 15-year-old and 16-year-old to die a month apart and then... But it was in 1918, and we already saw that on that grave over there. So this area up here, we know that that was going wild with the Spanish flu. Yeah, yeah, that may be it. Okay. So it's just speculation, y'all. Just, I don't know the answer. We just know it was tough times then. A lot of field markers out here and we have a veteran here abraham 
Let's wipe his grave off a little bit here if we can. It's made, you know, the bronze. And we can't tell. I need a broom or something to clean that off. But he's an S-1 U.S. Navy. Uh, World War II veteran. Looks like he was born 1906. And we can tell for sure here. Let's look. This is... Uh, a stick so maybe we can tell 19 yeah well, don't see it September the 19th it's buried Nineteen eighty one. And so we're going to put a flag right here in honor of a veteran of World War II. And here we have John D. Robinson, Arkansas, private, uh, CAC, I'm not sure what that means, uh, World War II veteran september the 17th of 1908 to march the 5th of 1962 and so we're going to honor him as well today and we're going to put american flag next to him and let him know that although he's gone he's not forgotten oh. Still trying to get that flag in the ground. I didn't want it to fall over. Here we have another veteran. James Price Robinson, U.S. Navy. Fought in Vietnam June 13th, 1941 to August the 23rd of 1978. And so we're going to put another flag here and honor this veteran as well. And say thanks for your service. And we have another veteran. Roland Burns Robinson, U.S. Army. World War I, October the 6th, 1898 to February the 2nd of 1988. Thank you for your service. You may be gone, but you're not forgotten. Not if somebody comes and visit your grave, I guess. Whichever ones you want to go to. Oh. These were some very, these look old. This is Annie J. James. She was born January the 31st of 1886 and died November the 16th of 1944. And this is Estella, wife of A.J. James. Uh, born November the 5th of 1859 and died February the 10th of 1917. And this, was it say up here? When the roll is called up yonder. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. And that's a, a hymn. Thy will. A.J. James, Sr., December the 5th, 1838, died October the 23rd of 1920. That stone would be beautiful if we cleaned it up. So would this one. Look at that. Lucinda, wife of A.J. James, born November the 5th of 1841 
and passed March 12th of 1914. Says James, big bold letters. You can read these really well. I wish they were cleaned up. We need to get that cleaner. We got it on order. So we can start trying to clean some of these. And this one's out here kind of by yeah. itself, isn't it? I don't know if you can see anything on it. I think that says Mary. Doesn't it? Burkett? Burkett. Burkett? Burkett? Not sure how to pronounce that. Maybe Burkett. Um, hard to tell. It looks like she was born in 1817 and died in 1847. Is that a 47? I think it's 1847. Or 44. Apologize on these names. We try to do the best we can on pronouncing them, but we don't always pronounce them right. And we're always open for constructive criticism, but don't call us. Please, names. please be kind. You know, I mean, we're just we're trying to do the best we can. We don't want to. We really don't want to mispronounce somebody's name, but it happens. Let me get over here on this side. Uh, it says, uh, there, my father's house are many mansions. Margaret, wife of L.S. Phillips, or no, that's Phipps. Yeah. Phipps, born January the 2nd, 1852, and died September the 14th of 1890. Six, not 1896. There's a boss on there that makes it really difficult to read sometimes. And sometimes you can see it in the camera better than you can see it here. And I'm not really sure why that is. My father's house has many mansions. John Mc McCone? McCone. I think is how you pronounce that. That's good. It says died September the 23rd, 23rd of 1897, aged 84 years. He lived a pretty ripe old age. Margaret Mahone, 1817 to 1909. She lived a long time. Anyway, it's quiet and peaceful here. It's a beautiful cemetery. It's well taken care of, it looks like. Moles are running rampant, but that's all we have for you today with this video. It's a beautiful cemetery. Y'all ever get a chance, go visit them. Thank you.